Hi, and welcome to Adobe Absolute Beginners, Adobe Illustrator CC. My name is Wes Holing, and I'm going to be showing you some of the basic tools and tips for how to use Adobe Illustrator CC. The last thing I'd like to show you are called uh, two things called clipping masks and compound pads. Uh, I'll start with clipping masks. Uh, if you're familiar with InDesign, uh, this is a pretty familiar concept. Uh, basically, Illustrator and InDesign will allow you to uh, to take one shape and use it to mask part of the other. If you've ever uh, painted a wall and you've used masking tape to, to not paint over the part that you didn't want to, for example, the trim of the wall or something like that, uh, then this might be a familiar concept. So in here I've got uh, two shapes. I've got a blue uh, rectangle and I've got a red circle. If I take my red circle and drag it up uh, on top of the, uh, the, the blue rectangle, in order to create a clipping mask, that uh, where the circle masks the, the rectangle, I can choose them both, come up to the Object menu, down to Clipping Mask, and then Make. So it looks like it's just inversed the color and gotten rid of the rectangle, but what's actually happened is it's created a mask in the shape of the circle, and it's showing the rectangle behind it. If I double-click on this, you can see that the shapes are still there. I have a blue rectangle shape, which is, still exists, and then this, uh, this blue circle here. And again, if I click on the circle, and you look over here in the fill, there is no fill. And it, even though it looks like there's blue in it, it's actually the blue of the rectangle behind. And we can see this because if I move the circle up, there's the corner of the rectangle that's visible. I click away, and now I've got this strange-looking shape without destroying any of my previous shapes. If I double click it again, I can choose my rectangle, I can move that around, and I've, and I've still got the mask of the circle over the actual shape of the, uh, of the rectangle. And this is handy if you have a photograph and you want to draw with a pen tool. For example, you want to draw the outline of an object in it, like a person or a dog or a baseball bat, whatever's in the actual photograph and you don't want the background, you can, you can draw a shape around the, the, the part of the photograph you want, and then use that shape on the photograph as a clipping mask. There's a lot of great tutorials on this online, so uh, I encourage you to look those up if you want to try and learn more with clipping masks. It is a very, very handy tool for getting just the look you want in Illustrator. Similar to that are called compound pads. So I'll draw one circle, and I'll draw another one, and I'll make this one red. So if I bring these two together, they kind of overlap. It looks a little bit like a MasterCard logo. And I select them both, come back up to the Object menu, and just underneath Clipping Mask is Compound Path. And I can make that. Now, what's happened here is it's, it's hiding any part that overlaps and showing only the parts that do. And it, and it again, just like with uh, some of the Pathfinder tools, it chooses the color that's dominant for both. Now this is really handy if you want to remove, uh, let's say, the inside of an object and, and still you know, maintain the outside. In fact, let me show you that. We'll take one large circle and one little circle, and I'll drag that little circle to the center of it, select them both, return to the Object menu, Compound Path, Make. Now I've got a hole in the center, and it looks like it's a hole. It functions just like it. So if I drag it over here, you can see the other object behind it cutting through the center. But the nice thing about this, unlike the Pathfinder tool that I showed previously, this is also non-destructive, just like clipping masks. So if I double click on it, the circle is still there. I can move that somewhere else. Now it's you know, cutting through the side. It's also still invisible in the center. So if I move it to something else, of course, it's it's still visible through that hole. Uh, I can even drag it. It doesn't have to be within the, uh, the, the confines of the larger circle. I can bring it to the outside. And that starts to begin to look like a logo. And it's also very easy to make just because it's got a good, not, a good use of negative space. This could be something for, let's say, a planetarium uh, that shows you know, a moon around a planet, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of options when it comes to the, the, the clipping masks 
and the compound paths. So I encourage you to check that one out too. If you have some grand vision that involves, let's say, negative space or just showing a certain portion of, of, of an optic. Well, that's it for Adobe Absolute Beginners, uh, Adobe Illustrator CC. My name is Wes Holling. I want to thank you for joining me and uh, definitely encourage you to check out the tools that we've covered here today and uh, any other tools that, that Adobe Illustrator offers. It may seem daunting at first, but it only gets less so the more you use it. So uh, happy illustrating.